Welcome to uh, the lecture number 25 uh, of the course computational hydraulics. Uh, we are in module 2 numerical methods uh, and in this particular uh, lecture class we will be covering unit 21 algebraic equation and uh, specifically we will talk about Gauss elimination. So, Gauss elimination uh, is the first approach of uh, direct solution of our algebraic equation. We already know that uh, we have algebraic uh, form of a phi equals to r and we need to solve that thing using different uh, numerical uh, algorithms. So, learning objective um, at the end of this unit students will be able to apply uh, Gauss elimination method for direct solution. Uh, this is our general matrix form uh, where A is our uh, coefficient matrix, phi is our variable and R is uh, right hand vector. Now, in this case uh, one important consideration is that A is constant coefficient matrix. That means, each coefficient of this matrix A uh, is constant for this solution process. These are not variables uh, with respect to this phi. So, if we write the complete matrix form, uh, we get this n by n matrix which is a square matrix, this A is a square matrix, phi uh, starting from 1 to n, uh, we have n into 1. So, obviously, in this case n cross n and n to 1 these two values are same this is column and this is row. So, we can say that these two are compatible matrices uh, from multi, uh, multiplication point of view. Now, right hand side we have another n cross 1 uh, vector here. Now, we need to apply the Gauss elimination. So, what is this Gauss elimination? Uh, let us explain the Gauss elimination process using this 5 by 5 uh, example matrix and we have let us say 5 variables phi 1, phi 2, phi 3, uh, phi 4 and phi 5 and right hand side this blue colored uh, values uh, or uh, I have colored this A matrix and R matrix with a blue color. So, that you can see that uh, these values are already available, we have not changed these values. Now, during this uh, Gauss elimination process we need to change uh, different entries in the A matrix to get the solution. So, blue uh, values or blue uh, uh, coefficients are actually undisturbed coefficients in your A matrix. Now, let us consider row 2. Let us consider row 2 for our calculation. We will keep this row 1 as constant. So, in this row 2, uh, uh, let us consider this uh, gamma 1, 2, gamma 1, 2, gamma suffix 1, 
uh, 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 this is subscript 1 and superscript 2. This means that uh, gamma uh, is a factor which is multiplied with rho 1 with uh, for the calculation of rho 2. It is multiplied with rho 1 for calculation of rho 2 and we are multiplying the rho 1 rho 1 with this factor which is a 2 1 a 2 1 is essentially first entry in the uh, second row divided by our first term which is of our rho 1 this is our rho 1 this is our rho 2. Now let us start the calculation process as it is we will keep our rho 2. So rho 2 is with a 2 1 phi 1 a 2 2 phi 2 a 2 3 phi 3 a 2 4 phi 4 a 2 5 phi 5 from different uh, available entries in the uh, coefficient matrix. Now uh, with the multiplication of our gamma 1 2 with rho 1 rho 1 we are getting a 2 1 phi 1 and gamma 1 2 is multiplied with each term on the top that means it is multiplied with each term here multiplied with each term. Now due to this multiplication uh, this will change to a 2 1. So now if we subtract this uh, value or rho 1 uh, from uh, rho 2 then the first term is getting eliminated from this process. So uh, we will get a 0 value here obviously there will be change in the value of uh, the second one a 2 2. So with a red color I am specifying the changed coefficients or representing the changed coefficients. So a 2 3 prime a 2 4 prime a 2 5 prime and r 2 also on the right hand side it is also changing because we are multiplying gamma 1 2 with rho 2 uh, directly in this case. So individually this prime values are essentially a 2 2 minus 1 2 minus uh, into a 1 2 like that. So we have different values available here which are with respect to uh, our original entries in the A matrix. Now uh, due to uh, this calculation we have eliminated the first entry of our second row. So only 4 entries will be there in the second row. So red color represents the changed entries due to first step and if we continue this for row 3 again we can select another gamma 1 3 which is we are multiplying a factor with the uh, first row for row 3. So again this is first entry in the uh, third row 
this is our third row, row 3 and uh, divided by uh, the diagonal term or uh, first term in the uh, first row. So, with this case uh, uh, we can write our things. So, this is 3 1 3 1. So, this is getting cancelled again uh, we are getting this red colored values due to first uh, step that means these calculations are based on row 1 only because we are multiplying some factor with row 1 to get changed values in row 3. So, R3 is also changing. So, different values we can represent like this. Similarly, this process can be continued for next step. Again, we are multiplying the first row with A41 divided by A11. Again, first term we are eliminating that means uh, except the first row uh, for first column we are inserting 0 values here although uh, we are changing the uh, row values for that particular row. So, in this case uh, prime means our first iteration. So, in this case again for 4 2 and similarly for gamma 1 5 we can generate the first level iteration. In this case, so with the first loop uh, for our row uh, 1 we can eliminate the first term from other rows. So, we have eliminated the first terms from other rows. Next level, next level uh, in, in this case you can see that uh, these values are also changed ones. R1, uh, R2 prime, R3 prime, R4 prime, these are not original entries. So, original entry uh, is only row 1, we are not disturbing the row 1 in this case. So, uh, in forward elimination process, let us start with row 2. Now, we will consider uh, row 2 as our reference row and we will perform the same uh, elimination process for other rows. So, in first case we have considered row 1 as constant and we have eliminated uh, the first term from the other rows. Now, in the second step we are going to uh, eliminate the entries here. That means, in the second column other than the first and the second row will not disturb our first row. First row. So, uh, second row is there a 2 2 prime, a 2 3 prime, a 2 4 prime, a 2 5 prime. Now, here let us multiply gamma 2 3, gamma 2 3 is nothing but our first entry in the third row divided by again diagonal term for the row under consideration because row 2 is our reference row 
and we are performing calculation on row 3, row 4 and row 5. So, row 3 is as it is. Now, we are multiplying gamma 3 with row 2. If we multiply gamma 3 with row 2, again we will get this double prime values, this uh, A double prime 3 3, A double prime 3 4, A double prime 3 5 and R 3 in this case. So, in this case again we are changing the changed values in the first iteration process. So, in the first uh, our uh, elimination step we have uh, converted all uh, blue colored values into red colored ones. Now, we are introducing this green color, green color to represent the next level iteration. So, in the process we have eliminated the first entry uh, in the row 3 <coughs> in row uh, step 2. Again uh, we have uh, generated this R 3 double prime. Now, if we consider that row 4 uh, again we can multiply A 4 2 with prime uh, uh, divided by A 2 2, A 2 2 is our uh, diagonal term here and uh, we can again generate uh, the next level changed values for these four entries because the first entry will be 0 in this case, 0 plus this one. So, in this process we have eliminated the next row. Similarly, for fifth row uh, with respect to row 2 uh, we can multiply 5 2. 5 2 in this case divided by A 2 2 and we can get our desired uh, uh, multiplied value here and in this case again green values are actually changed values and finally, uh, we after two steps we have generated uh, changed values for first, uh, uh, the second, third, fourth and fifth rows. Okay. In this process, we have eliminated the uh, first column uh, and we have inserted 0 values here. Similarly, for second column except first and second row, uh, we have uh, introduced 0 values and we have changed other rows. If we follow this process, uh, we can again uh, eliminate the next row that is starting from fourth row up to fifth, we can eliminate the third column and we can introduce 0 values here. So, our reference row is row 3 and we are operating on row 4 and row 5. Obviously, in this case we need to multiply this gamma 3, 4 and gamma uh, 3 this is 5 with row 3 to get uh, these desired values. Obviously, this is third level or third step. So, uh, A triple prime 
is the representation for that. So, uh, we have represented it uh, with a different color. So, in this process we have changed the second, third, fourth and fifth. So, only change uh, is there for second and third row, fourth and fifth row uh, is getting changed uh, with every step that means, with respect to uh, R 1, R 2, R 3. Now, similarly, uh, we can uh, uh, consider this row 4 and we can eliminate uh, this um, uh, fourth term and uh, our objective was to generate this upper triangular matrix including the diagonal term. So, what is the advantage? In the forward elimination process, if we can generate this upper triangular matrix, finally, uh, we can directly get the last value that means, A this 1 4 is the value after fourth iteration multiplied with 5 and this is R 5 1 4. Obviously, 5 5 will be directly R 5 4 divided by A 5 5 1 4 that means, after fourth step. So, directly we can calculate the value and we can use this value to calculate uh, the values 5, 4, 5, 3, 5, 2, 5, 1. In the first uh, process, we have moved from row 1, row 2, row 3, row 4 up to row 5. Now, we will move in the backward direction with the back substitution process. Now, in back substitution uh, as I have discussed, uh, this one is R5. Uh, now, uh, in this process, in this process, uh, we can directly get the value here, uh, direct, uh, get the value here and now this value is known, this value is known. So, in this case obviously, this will be A5514. And in the next step, uh, we will have this uh, uh, triple prime 4 4 5 4 4 5 a uh, triple prime R 4 4. So, we have already got the value of A uh, 5 uh, 5. Now, we can insert that value here. So, just we can transfer this in the right hand side and we can calculate uh, 5 4. Similarly, for other case uh, we can uh, directly get the values 5 3. So, in this case uh, we can get this 5 3 5 3 here. So, 5 3 with the help of 5 4 and 5 5. So, we are moving, moving in the backward direction. So, now uh, these 3 values are known with these 3 values we can get the because these coefficients are there 
and this is only unknown quantity uh, with this coefficient. So, we can get uh, the phi 2 value from rho 2. Similarly, uh, phi 1 from ultimate uh, rho 1 uh, which is uh, uh, unchanged value from our original A matrix. Now, uh, if we see this uh, as algorithm, uh, we need to input this A vector, R vector and phi is the result. So, we are starting from k uh, 1 to n minus 1 because if you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 square matrix 5 by 5. So, in this case we are taking this row 1 as a reference. So, we are starting from row 1 and we will move up to row 4 up to row 4. So, that is why n minus 1 and we will consider k plus 1 to n, k plus 1 to n means if you are considering row 1, we should consider k plus 1, 1 plus 1 that means 2 to 5, n is 5 here. So, 2 to 5, in the next step we will consider 2 to n minus 1. Uh, no, this is 1 to n minus 1 here. So, that means 2 r 2 in case of r 2 we will consider 3 to n that means 3 to 5 that is what we have done for our previous calculations. Now, this is our factor gamma. Now, we need to uh, subtract this uh, from our a i j. Uh, Aij, uh, uh, we are keeping the matrix as it is uh, uh, for uh, entries in the capital A matrix and always we are updating those values. Similarly, we need to update R values. So, this is all about forward elimination and in the next step, we need to use this uh, back substitution uh, phi n. Uh, R n uh, divided by A n n which is A 5 5 in our case. Now, uh, we will start with n minus 1. So, uh, 4 to 1 again we started the sum equals to R 1. So, R 1 minus A i j phi j. So, whatever values uh, available that is i plus 1 if we are starting with i. So, i plus uh, starting from i plus 1 to n number of values are already available or uh, function values uh, or uh, phi values. So, uh, we will subtract this, we will consider this sum and this sum divided by a i i, this will give us the phi i value uh, for a particular row. So, row wise in the first step we are forward movement is there that is why it is forward elimination and next step we are moving in the backward direction to get the uh, variable values that is why it is called as uh, backward or back substitution and at the end uh, we can return this phi. So, uh, what are the problems uh, if the first term uh, starts with 0, so division by 0 is a problem, then there may be associated problem with the round off errors and there may be ill conditioned system. Uh, if we change a particular variable uh, with a slight value, there, if there is change in the uh, too much change in the system, then we can uh, call it as ill conditioned system. The solutions <coughs> pivoting, we can interchange the row or change the column. Uh, to avoid these situations and scaling. Uh, we can divide uh, a particular ray, row or, uh, uh, or a particular row uh, with a large value uh, to uh, 
maintain the order of the equations. So, uh, we can say that uh, that way we can avoid these problems. Now, let us consider uh, example. Uh, this is one simple example uh, where uh, phi 1, phi 2, phi 3, phi 4, phi 5 these values are there and the solution is uh, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Uh, interestingly, in this case only we have banded kind of structure, we have diagonal term available and two off diagonal terms or off diagonal terms and right hand side we have values. Now, we can utilize uh, Gauss elimination to calculate the solution uh, and second problem is uh, bit complicated. Uh, we are considering again 5 by 5 matrix and in this case we have number of rows uh, with negative and positive coefficients and the solution is 1, 2, 3, 5, 4, 5. Now, we will try to uh, code everything in Scilab platform that we have already discussed Scilab and we will try to get solution for these two problems. So, first problem is with banded matrix and next one is with the full matrix except one zero term uh, initially available. So, uh, uh, we are discussing about this pivoting problem. Let us say that instead of uh, this one as second row, if it is uh, in the first row, then what will be the problem? So, problem will be that uh, division by zero, uh, we cannot do that thing. So, we need to interchange the rows uh, to get the solution. Now, uh, with this uh, uh, slide, uh, we can finish our theoretical portion. Now, we will try to implement this cost elimination algorithm in our Scilab platform. Thank you.